Yeah, it's not really Jason. It's just me, Toby Wayne. How's everybody doing today? I figured I would do this quick little video here. I was got to look in and looking around the studio, and I realized, well, I got a lot of Jason Voorhees stuff going on. Uh, I love uh, hockey masks. Um, I just love Jason Voorhees in general. Uh, he's one of my all-time favorite uh, horror icons. Uh, he's uh, just such a cool character. I I love his aggressiveness. Uh, just the fact that he can't be killed is awesome. Um, yeah, he's just a just an awesome character. So anyway, I got to looking around the studio and I realized that I had you know quite a bit of uh, Jason memorabilia and and different art that I've done over the years and that other artists have done that uh, you know I really liked and so I I got some of uh, other artists uh, renditions on Jason. So anyway, with that being said, I. I uh, I did this one here. I've been working on this little guy. This is uh, out of Super Sculpey. Um, I'm just going to be eventually baking him and painting him up. Kind of my own. Uh, I mean, they're all my own takes on Jason, but this one here, I I really like the cauliflower ear and I like the the shape of his head. I just I really like that. But anyway, I'm going to finish this guy up here soon and get him up on the website. Uh, so he was kind of a fun little one-off original sculpt uh, that I was going to do. I see his nose got a little bit crushed, so that kind of sucks. Uh, anyway, uh, another thing I did was these magnets, these hockey mask magnets. And man, these suckers are so popular. Um, and this one was actually... Uh, signed by Kane Hodder, the man himself, who, in my opinion, really is the only Jason Voorhees. Uh, but uh, I, I met Kane at Crypticon 2010, and uh, he came over to the table and uh, saw that I had some Jason Voorhees stuff and uh, was very polite and kind and said, uh, Hey, do you want me to sign some of these bus uh, sculpts for you? And I, you know, these magnets? And I said, Yes. So I mean, he was kind enough to sign. I think he signed like 10 of them or whatever. Um, but anyway, super, super cool of Kane to do that for me. Um, I appreciated that big time. Um, and, and of course, I, you know, gave him a bunch of Jason related stuff. Uh, this guy here is unique. Um, I, I really like uh, this sculpt. Um, if I was to go back and do it, this one's, I don't know, maybe eight years, nine years old, maybe something like that. Um, but I, I really like this piece. Um, but if I was to do it over again, I would probably get rid of the, uh, the angled shoulders and I'd probably go to more of a uh, that kind of a style where it's more of a U-shaped. Um, but this piece overall was pretty good. I, I liked it. What The interesting thing about this piece is I actually didn't um, sculpt in any of the straps. And I actually did it on that way on purpose so I could put leather straps on it uh, individually, which was really, really dumb. Um, what a pain in the butt. But uh, now if I was to redo this piece, I would uh, re-sculpt these straps on. Um, this one is actually a really popular piece. People really like it. Um, I, you know, have sold out of this one, you know, quite a few times. Maybe I'll bring this back in the future. Uh, we'll see. This was back in the day when I, you know, I really bloodied this one up. I, I really enjoyed the blood splatter uh, look on this. But, but yeah, I did uh, rubber bands on this one just as a test. And then I uh, started using leather straps. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a fun fun one there. Um, this one here was my Death Curse sculpt, and this one by far is probably my most detailed Jason bust that I've done. This one actually has a hockey mask uh, that comes off and on, um, and I don't know where the mask is for this one in particular, um, but I did. I do have some other ones, and I, oh, in fact, there was a picture of it up in that top corner. You'll see it cycling through. Uh, but uh, in that uh, the past works image up there in the top, uh, there's pictures of my uh, Jason bust and my death curse. But yeah, the mask comes off and on of this one here, which is awesome. But it kind of sucks too because uh, it has a tendency to uh, you you just have to line everything up and you have to strap it and it's it's a hassle. But I, I felt it was important that they that the uh, mask comes off. Um, and I love all the little details. And this sculpt actually works without the mask, too. Like, it's just, I really like the piece, and I wouldn't even need to do the mask if I didn't want to. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, uh, this is my uh, Death Curse uh, sculpture um, that I got molded up and cast. And this brings us to the... <laughs> 
coupe de gras or I don't know what you would call this, but this was my one of my very first takes on Jason. And I covered this one, I think, in one of my earlier videos here last year or two years ago. Um, yeah, this was like my first take on uh, Jason. I love the little Charlie Brown head. That's always nice. Uh, very stiff and rigid sculpt. Like he just looks like he's standing in the closet just waiting for you, which was not my intent. Uh, it was just the lack of understanding anatomy and pose and posture. <laughs> um, but I did add some little buttons here, uh, you know, sculpt those buttons in. And then, of course, the, the spine from Part 7. I think uh, Friday the 13th Part 7... It used to be my favorite. Uh, I was uh, that was the first time I had seen Kane as uh, Jason Voorhees, and uh, I was mesmerized. And I just thought he just had such an awesome look. Hence, there's the little rip in the mask. So this is definitely part seven inspired. But uh, yeah, uh, this was pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty rough when I'm looking back on this thing now. The scars and everything look pretty, pretty shoddy. But you know. Uh, it is what it is. That's the past. And I will say this. I So speaking of uh, art from other artists that I picked up, um, I got a buddy named Paul Tallman, and he did this drawing for me um, and uh, snuck over to Kane's table and actually got it signed by Kane, uh, which I thought was incredibly cool of Paul. So Paul Tallman, if you are watching this video, I appreciate you, and this hangs... Uh, proudly in my studio and Paul actually ha has done some other work but I couldn't quite get up to the other uh, picture that he drew for me but Paul I appreciate you as a friend and uh, Paul's an ultra talented artist and uh, I, I loved his style of Jason and the fact that Kane signed it was was pretty awesome too um, but yeah uh, that's just a, a little sliver of my Jason Voorhees memorabilia um, oh, and by the way, Kane signed this one too, which I thought was really cool. Uh, he was kind enough to sign this for me. And uh, yeah, so anyway, you guys are awesome. I see all the new subscribers, so thank you guys very much for that. You guys are beyond awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. And if it wasn't for you guys, uh, there really wouldn't be any point in doing any videos. So thank you very much. You can also check me out on Instagram, Toby Wayne Studios over there on Instagram. I would appreciate the uh, support and follow over there as well. So anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for checking this video out, and I will catch you in the very next video.